So to observe cytoplasmic streaming in hydrilla leaf, first we will collect some hydrilla from a pond or anywhere you can find it. Wash it thoroughly to remove the excess matter which might be present in the water with the hydrilla leaves. The material we will require is ethanol, distilled water, some petri dish, pointed and forcep, blunt and forcep, pin and brush. Now to a petri dish add some water and some ethanol and keep the hydrilla leaves in them for 5 to 10 minutes undisturbed. To prepare this slide to observe cytoplasmic streaming in hydrilla, we need our sample in petri dish, forcep, needle, brush. We take the uppermost leaf of hydrilla from the sample that we have prepared, taking the leaf from the most section of hydrilla now we'll put this leaf gently on the slide now carefully putting the leaf on the slide we take some water drops we can use a brush or a dropper to do that now after putting the water drops on the hydrilla leaf we have to gently place our cover slip to do that we can use needle now we have to be very careful with this so that we avoid all the air bubbles now we have a slide using this slide we can observe cytoplasmic streaming we'll, we will observe cytoplasmic streaming under 40x magnification we will show you the microscopic view here under 40x magnification you can clearly see how beautifully chloroplasts are moving within the cell in a circular or rotational motion. This is the cytoplasmic streaming in hydrilla. So the question arises is why we observe such type of streaming in hydrilla leaves. Hydrilla is a water submerged plant which has green pointed leaves. The purpose of cytoplasmic streaming is that it facilitates the transport of material and substances. Also, it maximizes the area for photosynthesis and subsequent cell growth.